Hello, hello, and welcome to another short guide. Today I will be talking about how to set up and use the CCIP in War Thunder. This is abbreviated as Constantly Computed Impact Point. CCIP is on a number of top tier aircraft and helicopters. For example, you have the F 40 Phantom or, the, on screen, the KA 50. CCIP, to put it very basically, shows you where your rockets or bombs will land by giving you a special reticule for unguided rockets or giving you the AB bomb site for when you use bombs. To activate the CCIP, or you'll need to set a binding for it, so what you'll do is you go to your controls, you'll want to go to either search here and type in ballistics computer, set a key for that, same with aircraft, or you could just find it in weaponry, which is here. And uh, yeah, if you keep pushing that button, it'll turn it on and off, and I'm going to show you some examples now. Alright, and just to slip in here, but another thing to note is that not all CCIP is um, equal. So, for example, you'll have the F4E Phantom, it will have CCIP for the guns, the rockets, the bombs, and will have CCRP. But, if you look at something such as the SU-7B, It'll have it for the guns, the rockets, but it doesn't have a bombs CCIP. I'll leave a list to the aircraft that contains it as well as the helicopters that will contain CCIP. Anyways, on to the next clip. Okay, so just as an example with the KA-50, if you look at the, the rocket's crosshair, the line here, if you toggle the button, there you go, it will show you It'll have a little cross there which will show you where the rockets will land and where you should potentially be aiming. So I'll turn around my boy here. I can never use this thing properly, that's why I don't use it. But yeah, so aim it at the target. Try and lead a little. And there you go. That is basically what you just do for, or what it does for helis. Makes it way easier to do those epic gamer rushes that everyone does at the start, which is why helis are annoying to deal with at times. But anyway, I am going to show you how to use it on the, or how it's used on the F4 Phantom. Alright then, so I'm going to show you how it's done with the bombs this time on the F4 Phantom. So you turn your ballistics computer on, go towards your target to bomb it, and there you go, it literally just gives you the AB marker. That is quite literally what it gives you. So you just drop your bombs, yada yada, and boom, got all of them. And I'll show you with rockets as well. But, just to point it out that if you are going too fast with the uh, aircraft you're in, the bomb site won't actually appear, so make sure you're going decently, uh, not decently slow, but at decent speed, not too fast, not too slow, and your reticule should appear. Anyways, onto the rockets. Alright, so we're here in the Phantom again, but this time we've got our rocket pods. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it on and it's going to give us this little cross. And then what we can just do is uh, we can fire at the tank from decent away. I mean we botched that up but that's all you really needed to see. You, you got your little crosshair there, you can, gives you a decent estimate of where the rockets will land and yeah. That's basically uh, CCIP. If anyone has any uh, other things they want me to talk about, like guides and such, then uh, don't hesitate to leave it in the comments. If you think there are ways I can improve my guides, then uh, tell me in the comments. Give leave, give feedback, tell me should I do anything different, should I make sure I've... Uh, I don't know. Just tell me what you think in the comments, tell me what I can improve on, and we're all Gucci. Alright, thank you for watching, and I'll see you another time. Alright, I'm going to show you again, but I'm going to do it with the rockets now. 
Alright, so we've got our marker here, and it spawns a little uh, marker like that. Different to the heli one, but more or less the same. And yeah, I fucked up, but that's basically all you need to see. 